Please welcome ABC News anchor David Muir. Clean me off, you send me back with the Rockettes, I'm all set. That's right, right exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some bread. We're going to put it on the grill. Okay. When we come back, I'll show you my tricky little trick for picnics, how to manipulate, move, maneuver, and distribute the eggs. All right. <laughs> More with David Muir when we come back. Welcome back. I'm cooking up a perfect picnic dish with the magnificent anchor of World News tonight, David Muir. Oh. We're getting ready to finish up our Italian bacon and egg bruschetta. Do you think this dish is newsworthy? O only if something goes terribly wrong. <laughs> you mean on the dish or the in the dish. world? Well, it, you know, if it, 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 sadly, we have to do some of the tough news at the end right. of the day, so I'm just making sure that I did this properly and that I was careful with the knife. It's looking gone. pretty good to it me. It looks good, right? It smells delicious. Yeah. So here's my trick. When you take out your soft-boiled eggs, mm -hmm. you take them out, you peel them, you put them under ice water, and then the way to ship them yeah. is you put them in a pickle jar that has been removed. The pickles have taken out, but you left the pickle brine in so oh, it makes brine. them really delicious and briny and fantastic yes. now if you can do me a favor and take some of that pesto yeah, and smear to. it liberally right. over the top liberally of that hot right. toast I wish more liberal could, i wish everyone could smell this pesto though this is amazing it does smell good and then what we do is we take a knife and we just cut them in half oh wait first bacon i'm pretty excited bacon. about this as you can tell hot bacon i mean look magnificent at pesto Looks like we're feeling good. It's coming together. Then we take the yolk. Right, hold on. Put it on just like that. Yeah. Put it on just like that. Okay. Now you with your news anchor hands are going right. to cut the egg while I sprinkle it with salt and pepper. Ready? Like this? No, well, I was going to use oh, a knife. Right. <laughs> now this will ooze just a bit. Oh, it's supposed to ooze, right? It is supposed to ooze. Oh, he's going all the way through. He's going for it. Yeah, I like that move. Oh. You like that? Oh, I do. So hold on. Then you salt it. Do the next one. Oh, this one's going to be a little messier. A little yeah. messier. So now, do you have any secrets to reveal about what's going on in the real newsroom? Well, you know, there's like a presidential race. I don't know if any of you've oh, heard about you. this. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, kind of crazy. It is crazy. And, you know, this is this is <laughs> one of the tightest races uh, in history. And the polls go back and forth every night. Wait a minute. I, I want to eat. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That's amazing. Yeah. And easy to do on a picnic okay. and easy to do wherever you want. I've got to ask you one other thing. Yeah. When did you first start thinking you were going to become a reporter? I was 12 years old when I wrote to the local newsman in my town. He was like the Walter Cronkite of our town. And, but this is going to be really revealing. My sister's going to love this because growing up, I built this cardboard box and cut it out so that it was a TV and I broadcast from inside the cardboard box. <laughs> you were a news nerd way early. Yeah. She's proud of me now, but when you're growing up and your brother's in a box in the living room, it's... <laughs> He's so weird. He's so weird. It's, it's not the coolest thing. All right, so David, you report yeah. the news every night. Okay. So we're going to let my co-host give it a try. Are you ready for a round of edible headlines? Ready. Yeah. They're each going to read a wacky food-related news story, and you'll have to guess whether it really happened or if we made it up. We did a little reporting of our own and found out your all-time favorite food. So if you get all three right, you get this. Truffle, Truffle mac, mac and cheese. Are you up for it? Of course I am. Wait a minute, are you like the, the, the main... The, I'm the two correspondent. You're the chief two correspondent. That's right. That's right, all right. Sorry. So let's go to Michael for the news. Michael? Thanks, Mario. Back to you, Mario. Thanks, Michael. Real or fake, David Muir? What, the delivery? The story. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, what do you think, real or fake? Real? Fake. <laughs> I'm gonna go with real. Real it is, ladies and gentlemen. One step closer. Daphne is in the newsroom with our next story. Daphne? Oh, thank you, Mario. Mario. Real or fake, David Muir? Fake. fake. It's the hundred sticks gives it away. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. I that's right. So let's go to Clinton with more. Clinton? Thanks, Mario. Mario? Real or fake, David? Let me see. Uh, I'm going to go with real with the audience. Woo! Boom! He nailed it all. Boom! He nailed it all three. Boom! He nailed it all three. I'm here for my truffled mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm here to make sure that you have the proper amount of what we call the Batali way with truffles. Woo! Yeah. There you go. Make it rain. 
Just keep going, keep going and keep going, keep going and keep going. There you go. And you don't waste the truffles. No, no, you clear them up off the table. Right. Thanks so much for coming by, oh, my brother. It's always a delight to see you. Don't miss World thank News you. tonight with David Muir. Weeknights at 6.30, 5.30 Central right here on ABC. We'll be right back.